I'm sure just about everyone has heard of a pregnant woman's wild cravings. And any couple that has had children certainly has stories about midnight runs to the gas station for some type of treat. Our modern cravings tend to be disregarded, but in reality are one of our few natural instincts left. Your body is telling you what to eat. Just like when you try to feed vegetables to a baby, they don't want to eat them. That baby's body is telling it not to eat it. And that baby still has some of its natural primal instinct. Whereas it takes some extreme pregnancy cravings for an adult to see the same. Just like some parents force those vegetables down their baby's throat, ignoring their cries and screams, adults also ignore their cravings in favor of losing weight, following modern health guidelines, standard conventional wisdom. Adults think they are oh so smart that their intelligence can overcome their natural cravings. If those health guidelines were true, why do pregnant women, babies, just about everyone crave sugary fatty foods? And upon further inspection, any food tendencies are rich in macronutrient or micronutrient nutrition, protein, carbohydrates, and fats, or the many vitamins, minerals, and fatty acids that our bodies need to be in ideal states throughout all stages of life, especially development, pregnancy, early years, nursing, toddler, up until the person is 20, 21 years of age, the nutrition is incredibly important in every aspect of their life from height to brain development to many things to list. So I've kind of covered every health topic there is on my YouTube channel for the most part. We've done several videos on pregnancy outlining the basics of nutrition, what to consume, and more recently I think it was a top five or top ten pregnancy foods video several months ago where some of these foods were actually overlapping. I believe the chocolate and the cheese were definitely on that list. Coincidentally, some of the most popular craved foods are chocolate, ice cream, cheese, and pickles. Now when you Google something like, why do I crave pickles? The answer isn't true. You know, for that they say it's electrolyte balance. For ice cream they say you're just stressed out. Your body couldn't possibly need anything in ice cream. For chocolate they say you're just hungry, and I guess they don't want people knowing the truth about nutrition. Chocolate has both a high macronutrient and micronutrient component. It's rich in fat and sugar, uh, not so much sugar unless it's sweetened. So it's very, very calorically dense either way because even if there's no sugar added, it's basically pure fat. It's excellent for maintaining energy levels, survival, feeding your gut bacteria with that sugar. And it's actually one of the best sources of magnesium and copper, two minerals that tend to be lacking in most people's diets. And it even has a reasonable amount of iron, manganese, and zinc. Overall mineral bomb. But just the sheer magnesium and copper content alone warrants keeping some good quality organic chocolate in your diet. And whether you get 57% you know, cacao that is pretty sweet or 70%, it's really up to you see how your body tolerates it, see if you get stomach issues, and for the most part you just want to see you know, some type of chocolate component as well as some type of sugar component. Organic to remove as many negatives as possible. Alright, so up next we have ice cream, which to me is interesting, and I've done several videos making ice cream. Uh, we talked about it in the Marilyn Monroe diet video. At its core, ice cream is really all animal foods, milk, cream, eggs, with some sugar, sweetener, and whatever flavoring. From a macronutrient perspective, it's incredibly rich, just like chocolate, but does have some added protein from the eggs and milk, so it checks all the boxes for protein, fat, and carbohydrates. For micronutrients, it practically has every single vitamin and mineral. Granted, the ice cream is made with quality ingredients. You have water-soluble B vitamins in the milk and the eggs, plenty of fat-soluble vitamins all around, the cream, the egg yolks, cholesterol, which is vital for all cell functions, super high calcium content because it's dairy, and even some preformed omega fatty acids in those eggs. The mineral content all around is very good. 
highly bioavailable forms of just about everything with the exception of magnesium and some trace minerals. So if the ice cream is made with raw, grass-fed dairy, pasture-raised eggs, you know, organic sweeteners, it's one of the most nutritious foods disguised as a treat, and it's no wonder pregnant women crave it. It basically has just about every nutrient, and compared to a standard American diet, ice cream looks like a health food from that vitamin perspective. And it's very palatable. You know, with the chocolate, you have the sugar, the fat, you know, the complexities of the chocolate add flavor to it. Ice cream, you know, doubles or triples the palatability because you have the dairy flavor, the cholesterol, the fat. It's a hyper, hyper, hyper palatable food, and you're also getting a lot of nutrition. So, you know, I would bet ice cream consumption is probably near the top of the list calorically for pregnant women. Uh, I mean, this is just some organic stuff I picked up from Whole Foods. I don't really recommend buying this. Uh, what I would do is go to a local farm. They tend to make pretty good quality, you know, raw grass-fed ice cream. Uh, so moving on to cheese, uh, there's quite a few overlapping nutrients with ice cream and cheese, obviously because they're both dairy. Uh, so cheese does have similar fat-soluble and water-soluble vitamins. The main difference being that since cheese is fermented, it has considerably higher vitamin K2, as well as beneficial bacteria, which are important for synthesizing nutrients, as well as aiding in food digestion. It's overall very comparable to ice cream in the sense that it's super nutritious and accomplishes similar things in our bodies when we consume quality versions, grass-fed, raw, even organic if you can get it. I have a video titled, Is Cheese Healthy? I did another video, Vitamin K2 Content of Cheeses, if you guys want to learn a little more about cheese. And pickles are a curious one. Uh, I so happened to make uh, a batch of pickles last week, just some experiments for stuff. Uh, we might be selling on Frankie's Syringe range meat relatively soon, just you know, high quality uh, fermented vegetables. And these are actually way too garlicky, but they still taste pretty good. Usually people will say it's the salt, the electrolytes, and that makes sense. Considering the paper value of nutrition of pickles is really just salt. You know, if you look down a list of those vitamins and minerals, all you see is sodium and chloride, sodium chloride being salt. What people miss is the bacteria that is formed during the fermentation. And, and this is bubbling. Uh, you know, you can really see it's alive. You know, especially eating all these sugary foods that pregnant women crave, you know, that might imbalance gut bacteria in favor of yeast. It makes sense to crave something like pickles that have lactobacillus and those good strains to keep your microbiome in check. Uh, there might be some gut motility, roughage, fiber associated with the pickles as well, but for the most part, it really is that good beneficial bacteria component that is so vital for our overall health. I mean, not only will pregnant women eat the pickles, they'll physically start drinking pickle juice from the jar. That's how much bacteria they're craving. And believe it or not, it doesn't actually taste bad. It actually tastes pretty good because your body is craving what is inside that liquid, the lactobacillus bacteria. So thank you guys for joining me today. You know, I'm looking forward to having uh, some more of these products available soon on Frankie Syringe Meat and Frankie Syringe Foods. Right now we just have the raw cheese. Who knows, maybe we'll be making ice cream soon. We'll have some chocolate. We'll be selling some fermented vegetables, all that good stuff. Uh, so if you guys could please leave a comment down below, drop a like on the video, make sure the notification bell is selected. And if you guys do want to support me further, just check out frank-stefano.com. Sign up for the newsletter to keep in touch. And you can also see all of my businesses. Hopefully, Frankie Boy gets a little bit of a Christmas present this week and we can do something else, uh, but maybe not. Uh, so thanks again, guys. I'll see you for tomorrow's video. Uh, I mean, if I don't lose my mind, which is bound to happen one of these days because I'm recording at 3.20 in the morning. Mm -hmm.